what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today we have a very short but sweet one one that's going to really be helpful to you guys in your editing process so let's go ahead and jump right into it and today we're going to get into compound clips and fusion clips okay so there is a significant difference and i'm going to show you guys that and show you why you would use one over the other so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the software all right so here we are uh, in DaVinci Resolve and let's go ahead and get in two clips okay let's bring in two clips into our software so let's go ahead and grab one of these I'm gonna grab two of these I'm gonna grab the food and then I'm going to actually I'm gonna go over grab the food out of here and then we're gonna go and get the mailbox clip okay now let's say for example you wanted these two clips to be a single entity or fuse together as one okay now you probably wonder well, why would you want to fuse two clips together well let's say for example i wanted to make one of the i wanted to make both of these clips blurred right let's go to open effects let's put on our gaussian blur if i put this effect on the food it's only affecting the food right now but you see it doesn't affect the mailbox clip okay sometimes you really want clips to get all the effects right you don't want to if you have a big timeline you want those effects to affect maybe several clips across the board so instead of just going and putting it in on one, uh, let's go ahead and delete this real quick. You can actually make a something called a compound clip and combine them and consolidate your timeline into a smaller uh, condensed version, allowing you to be able to put effects on all of those in that grouping. OK, I like to think of it as a group or uh, fusing clips together and treating them as a single entity. OK, so let's go ahead and apply that now. So. Um, and it's significantly different than linking the clips, right? Like you can actually right click on this and link them right here. And if you link them, you can actually move them as one. In fact, when you click on one clip, all of them select and you can move them around and so on and so forth. But that's just a little bit different. Let's hit control Z and let's go ahead and undo that linking. It's just a little bit different than that. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay. So let's go ahead and select all of our clips and let's right click on it. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new compound clip. We're going to call this uh, first compound. And here we have one compound clip. OK, so as you can see, our mailbox and our food now is fused together. And now if I bring in my Gaussian blur and put this on here, the food is blurred out. And also now the mailbox is also blurred out. OK, so as you can see, it's treating this all as one entity. And uh, I'll show you guys exactly the difference between this and a fusion clip here in just a second that really confirms that these are all one entity. OK, so this is really, really cool. But now you're wondering, well, how do I go inside this compound clip? You're probably wondering to do like changes and make things different. Maybe I want this clip to be a little shorter or longer or so on and so forth. Well, if you click on the clip, right click on it, you can actually open it in the timeline and here you have it you see it treats it almost like another timeline so now you can see the first compound clip here and now you can see these two clips again like such and now you can still edit these like the way you would like make one change and then you can close this out and go back to where you were and now the compound clip affects that change okay so compound clips are pretty cool if you get really really busy and bogged down and you know you're not going to make changes to anything you can kind of compound and bring and fuse things together and make sure they don't change and you can move them as a group as a whole rather than domino affecting things all in your timeline okay so that is one really useful tool but now you're probably wondering well what's a fusion clip if a compound clip is you know clips fused together into one entity no pun intended uh <laughs> fused together right you got that fusion fused okay whatever but but if a compound clip is all of them merged into one clip then what's a fusion clip let's check it out so let's go ahead and backspace this and clear this out and uh one thing i'll show you real quick actually what i just thought about it is that when you make a compound clip you it's actually in your timeline again so you can actually re-bring it back and drop it back in here again and you can right click open it as if it's a timeline so compound clips are really really cool um that's just another thing i just go ahead and throw in there okay but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into fusion clip all right so let's take our sprite bottle and our our clip here with me let's stack them on top of each other and let's select all of them right click Let's go into new fusion compound or fusion clip, excuse me. Click on new fusion clip. All right. Now you see these little stars here and you see that it's called a fusion clip. 
Now, notice what happens with these clips. It's a little bit different. Right click on the clip now and go into open in Fusion page. Okay, now you're probably wondering, wait, whoa, whoa, what are we doing, Chris? What are we doing? Trust me, hear me out. It's gonna make sense. We're gonna open this in the Fusion page. And wow, 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 there's a lot of new stuff here, a lot of new stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a very, very, very light introduction into Fusion only because it's gonna set up the stage for some other stuff that we're gonna learn. And I think that you guys need this to understand what we're learning, okay? So just bear with me. I know we're going into some new places. Let's jump back in. So here we are on the Fusion tab. If you click on your middle mouse like scrolly thing and press in on that, you can actually drag and drop this around and move this around like such, okay? Now, these are actually two media clips. These are the two clips that we stacked on top of each other. Okay, and the reason why I know that is because if you click on this and you move this up all the way up to here, keep dragging it, don't let it go, even though the animation didn't go there, and click here. Oh, snap, there's my ridiculous face, right? So you can actually right click on this right here, and then you can actually hit rename and call this Chris, and you can move this over here somewhere. And then this one over here, this one obviously it must be our handy dandy sprite bottle right so let's drag it all the way again keep dragging even though it's not moving with you drop it there's our sprite bottle let's right click rename sprite or whatever you know video two for you okay now what we have here is they're not two separate they're not one entity but it's actually one entity that grouped two clips together right and that's why a fusion clip is different than a compound clip because it just doesn't treat it the same way in Fusion. And now you can put effects on the video clip and you know you can do tracking or whatever else you can do in, in, in Fusion, which we'll get into a little bit later, which is really, really cool. Um, but you just can't do that with uh, a you know compound clip in the same way that you could with a Fusion clip. Now, let me go ahead and confirm that. So let's go over to the edit page. I'm just curious, I've never done this. So we're gonna learn something together here together. Let's take two clips. I'm gonna grab two random clips and stack them on top of each other. Let's make a compound clip, right click, new compound clip, boom, a compound clip one, sure, okay. Now let's click on this, right click on it, open in Fusion page. Ah, you see what happened here? So my theory was correct. So you guys see it's one entity when you make a compound clip, but when you make a Fusion clip, they look like one entity in the edit page, but they're actually two clips kind of fused together that allow you to do fusion and special effects on them. Okay, so I knew I just threw a ton at you guys. Let's just go ahead and kind of, you know, kind of conclude here because I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I really want to keep these really simple. But as you guys can see, there is a big difference between a compound clip and a fusion clip. A compound clip integrates them and merges them into one entity, whereas a fusion clip merges them as one in the timeline but in reality deep down under the hood they're really storing both of those clips and fusing them together allowing you to put special effects and open effects in the fusion page okay so wow that was a lot but that really sets the stage for some really really neat stuff that we're going to get into a little bit later on down the road okay but uh yeah that pretty much brings us to a conclusion here with fusion and compound clips so i hope you guys found that useful and uh, i will see you guys in the next one where we're going to be learning about bread and butter effects boy you're going to want to take some notes on that one because this might actually even be in parts because there are a ton of really powerful effects in davinci resolve that can really make your video have that wow factor and i want to go ahead and start teaching you guys just introduce you to them um and then we'll circle back around and get more into depth on those okay so either way guys i'm looking forward to that next one you guys have a good night we'll see you